Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew here, and I've got a brand new radio review video for you today. This time we're going to be covering the Sanjian MMR-88. It's a uh, AM-FM uh, weather portable radio from, of course, uh, one of the best radio brands out there, Sanjian. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to give out a couple of uh, shout-outs to two of my favorite radio enthusiasts out there on YouTube. Uh, Totterbird and TV Radio 1972. The links for their channels will be in the description down below so that you can check out uh, what kind of content that they create based off of, like uh, old and um, modern day uh, radios. So without further ado, let's get this review underway. So we've got the radio right here and um, we're going to get more into that in a moment. But first, let's check out the original box that it came in. Here's uh, the top front of the box, which shows off the radio and uh, what kind of radio it is. It's FM, AM, weather. It also like, functions with like a hand crank and a solar panel, so that those are two ways that you could charge up the, the radio in case uh, you're not charging it at home with like the, the included USB cable, which also came with the radio. And it's certified for like uh, public alerts for um, no weather radio or any other kind of uh, civil emergency that may uh, come your way. Here's one side of the box, pretty much the same. You can see the brand that it was made by, St. Jean. Powered by a dynamo turnable chargeable hand crank. And finally we have uh, the back of the box here, which gives you uh, more information about the radio itself. And that it's powered by a hand crank, features a digital FM AM tuner, it's a handheld size, has a built-in speaker, has an illumination lamp or a flashlight, which is, has a couple of adjustable settings, and has an emergency buzzer or siren, which we'll get to in a second, a built-in clock that you can uh, adjust to set the time, has a weather alert LED indicator, a charging LED indicator, a stereo ear earphone jack or headphone jack if you want to call it that, and it features um, a 90 minute auto shut off. Like when you turn it on f at first um, and don't press uh, the power button for like a couple of seconds, it'll go into this 90 minute countdown mode. Which after 90 minutes pass, I think uh, the radio will automatically turn itself off has an adjustable LED flashlight which features a high, low, blinking, and SOS Morse code settings. It receives all seven no weather channel and channels and reports. Has a USB A to micro USB B charging cable and a hand strap included. And you can program up to uh, 19 random preset stations for both AM and FM. Which is a decent amount, but some of you might be uh, thinking, you know, this radio could uh, handle more preset stations. And you may be right, but I think for me, 19 preset stations is uh, good enough. You can see more of the box here. And we're going to open this up and uh, see what kind of uh, contents that it came with. So we got like this little uh, protective pouch that the radio came included with when it was inside. Here we got the original instruction manual which uh, gives you details on how to set up the radio. You got a limited warranty and a couple other uh, pamphlets that um, I don't care to read. And like I said before it already came with like uh, the charging cable which I think is in that like a uh, white and blue plastic not plastic paper bag there that's included with all my other charging cables and radios so now with all that out of the way let's get to um the radio itself here on the front uh we see like uh the display which is backlit with like an orange light it features the time there on the display and then it can also feature like um the station frequency that you're set on for AM, FM, and uh, weather band, as well as like uh, the number of uh, stations 
or preset stations that you've set up there. On the, the panel here, we got a volume down and up button, a tuning up and down button, um, siren button, which uh, makes this sound if you press it on, press down on it for like a second or two. Ah, uh, loud enough. And we also have like a weather alert button, which if you press it down for like a second or two, it goes into a weather alert standby mode so that whenever like, um, some sort of alert comes in, like whether it be a weather or civil alert, um, the radio will sound off. And I think you have to either um, wait until it stops sounding off or you have to press like uh, one of the buttons to make it stop making um, that alert sound. So let me just turn this off. Also right here you have um, band select for AM, FM, and weather band. And you can also set the time for this radio as well. Like, um, I'm not sure if uh, you have to be on, like, um, standby mode. Or if you can also do it, like, a while, um, while you have um, the radio turned on. And right here you have uh, the preset button to set up your preset stations. Right here we have, like, uh, the speaker. And let me tell you, the sound quality on this thing is uh, pretty good. It's like uh, one of the best sounding radios that I've ever heard that's available. It, re it really does sound that good. Okay, so on one side here we have a couple ports for like a headphone jack. DC out. So that you can charge up your other electronics like a smartphone or tablet or whatnot. And um, the micro USB port here to charge up the radio with. Okay. On the top here, we have a solar, excuse me, a solar panel to charge up the radio while you're out in direct sunlight. And right here is um, the flashlight that's uh, built in that has a couple of uh, bright brightness settings, like so. Here's the first setting. Peekaboo! I see you. Ah. Okay, I'll stop. So that's uh, the first setting. Here's the second setting, which is um, a little bit dimmer. But you could still somehow see with uh, this setting on. Now, um, for the third setting, you have like uh, this blinking light, which might be some sort of like a Morse code or whatever. And then you have like uh, the SOS um, light setting here. On the back right here, uh, you can see like uh, the dynamo turnable hand crank that you can use uh, to charge uh, your radio for about a minute and then it'll give you like a few more minutes of like um, power on the radio for you to use. And let me show off uh, the turnable hand crank there. I don't know if you could see it that well but um, whenever you, you're turning um, the hand crank to charge up the radio there's like a little red and green light that shows you that the radio is charging this way so there's that and at the bottom of the radio is uh, the rechargeable battery that it came with so I've pretty much gone over like uh, almost all like uh, the things of uh, this radio has to offer but the true test is to like uh, demonstrate like uh, how good this uh, radio sounds like um, sound wise. So we're gonna go on outside to the front steps of my house and um, we'll demonstrate the sound quality on all three bands. So stay tuned. Sorry about that. All right, so we're outdoors at the front steps of my house. So what we're gonna do is um, set up the antenna, stretch it out like so. Look how big that antenna is. Don't make any jokes about that, okay? Um, anyway, so we have the antenna extended, and now we're gonna turn the radio and see how good this thing sounds. He's five to nine feet. Friday, south winds five to 15 knots, increasing- Right here we have uh, my local um, no weather radio station, KEC 73 Friday, at, at 162.550 uh, megahertz. Seas four to seven feet. 
Saturday, southwest winds 10 to 50 knots. You can see like that little marker for like 90 minute feet. countdown before it shuts off by Eight itself. And you have like a battery indicator right here. And like I said, this uh, tells you the time of uh, the day, which is um, as of the time of this video's recording is 1.10 p.m. Today, northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming west to northwest. So let's see if there's any other uh, weather radio stations that I can pick up on this thing. I'm supposed to pick up uh, this station, whatever it is, in uh, my bathroom when I was using it in there once. But uh, so far, nothing's coming in right now. Nothing here. Nothing here, strangely enough. Including Boston, issued at 10.29 a.m. Tuesday, December 7th. This afternoon, mostly sunny. Much cooler with highs in the lower 40s. West wind. South to southeast winds. Well, those are pretty much uh, the no weather radio bands. Um, and I was able to pick up only uh, two stations, but this one being the most important, which is KC73. So let me turn it down for a second. And now let's switch over to the FM band to see what I can pick up. Sorry. Um, copyright issues. So right here we're starting things off with um, Easy 99.1 WPLM, my local station here in Plymouth, Massachusetts. So what I'm going to do right here is um, go to my preset mode and just show off to you my favorite uh, radio stations and uh, see uh, how much uh, they come in clearly. So what I'm going to do is press the preset button right here. Just ignore that and that. Uh, first up, we have uh, my first preset station, which is Easy 99.1, of course. Okay, uh, I'm going to press the tuning up button to go to the next preset station. Werewolves in London. Right here is... Um, 95.9 WATD in Marshfield. Their preset station is 98.5 the Sports Hub or WBZ FM radio. Offensive line clinic that probably will be shown in high schools for the next hundred years as far as how to pull and how to block. Um, I don't think anyone's really talking about the fact that like there was multiple things last night that the Patriots won at. One of which I think is the biggest. Is All right, my main team, the, team, the Patriots. You know, Bill likes to go into every week with a game you go, plan boys. based on that team. It's true. Last night. All right, moving on. That's uh, 99.9, uh, the Q. Um, kind of forget what the call sign is. Um, if you guys want me to do, like, a, an FM band scan on this thing uh, sometime uh, very soon, uh, let me know in the comments below and... Uh, click like because uh, I would be more than willing to do an FM band scan on this thing based on like how good the sound is on this radio that's a uh, 104.1 um, forget what the slogan is or the call sign anyway This is a um, 104.7 WOCN, or excuse me, Ocean 104.7 WOCN. This is 105.7 WROR. A five-minute phone call to find out how you can save up to thousands of dollars a year. This amazing 2.25 rate in APR won't. Magic 106.7. Eighty-nine point seven WGBH radio. We, the government, are going to say something with this flight. 
was in early stages. This was seen in a clinical study with patients 50 and older. Any positive 100.7 WZLX Boston's Classic Rock. False positive and negative results may occur. Cologuard is not a replacement for colonoscopy. Identified the beginning of December. 89.3, forget the call sign. What have you, what has South Africa learned about the pandemic that allowed for that kind of accurate... An author of new Nine, folly, 90 um, I'll forget the call sign. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting a lot of call signs right now. Professor, the last. And last for the AM band, we've got uh, WBZ News Radio 1030 AM coming in very clearly on this radio. Especially when I'm down in my room, it comes in at a very strong signal. Just wrapped up a call, a video call with the president of. Ukrainian border. We are standing by to hear his thoughts on that conversation. Of 24 degrees, the 2.8. And that's pretty much uh, how good the sound quality is on the radio. I have to cut this short. I'm running low on battery life on the camera here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, radio review. If you did, please click like. Let me know what your thoughts are, thoughts are down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe for to... Um, Totterbird and TV Radio 1972 for their own um, radio, review, radio review videos. So um, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. And I'll see you all next time.